Hey everyone, The Wealthy Marketer here. Welcome to vlog number 18. As always, I'm here to help you earn, invest, and live your best life through digital marketing and becoming an entrepreneur. Uh, it's been about a week since my last vlog and my intention with this vlog was to do it every single day. And I'm gonna continue to hold true to that commitment as much as possible. Uh, but I had a crazy week, um, super productive and there was so much I was trying to get done and there was a few nights where I just pushed it hard and stayed up super late, like literally till 4 a.m. on a few different occasions. And eventually with all this video production that I was doing, all these vlogs, um, I was doing other videos on social media and just grinding it out really hard. It all caught up to me and I just had to take a break. I got super tired and had to kind of go to bed early a couple nights to kind of balance things out. Um, but here we are. We're back again, we've pressed record, and it is Thursday, so that means I'm gonna be having a beer with you guys. So I got a beer here from Parkside Brewery in Port Moody. It is a Dusk Pale Ale, and I'm gonna read to you what we got going on here. Educate ourselves on the beer that we're drinking. This is a craft beer play. Uh, so this is a pale ale, 5.3% alcohol, IBU of 30, and uh, this is the description. So it's a dry hop West Coast pale ale with an emphasis on hop flavor rather than bitterness. Uh, subtle malt combined with hop aromatics uh, creates a highly satisfying pale ale for any occasion. Um, pairs well with anything grilled, so great for barbecues, ribs, burgers, and even vegan chili or veggie chili. Uh, so yeah, I like it. Um, it's a beer that I'm familiar with. Uh, very nice taste. Um, definitely gives you more of that kind of like craft beer uh, flavor. Uh, a, f a flavor that I, I become very accustomed with, especially being out here on the West Coast. Um, and not as crazy as, say, an IPA. Um, but still gives you that premium taste and gives you the... the the hoppy happiness that we all strive for as, as beer drinkers. Uh, so in this vlog, I am going to be talking to you guys about a, the day in the life as the wealthy marketer. Um, the day in the life as the wealthy marketer, uh, work from home edition. Because uh, right now, uh, the majority of the time, myself and my team, we are working from home. I do have an office uh, where under normal circumstances I try to get to each and every day. Um, but especially for the past few months and for many occasions or stretches throughout this year, it has been a work from home kind of routine. Um, but um, while I prefer and I would choose the office routine any day, I'm a big believer in, in working in the office because I believe that's where the true magic and amazing productivity happens. Um, I've made the best of it. I've made the best of what's um, possible um, in working from home environment. It is, some, it is an environment that I'm very familiar with. Um, I've worked from home so much over the past 10 years that I don't even want to do it anymore. Um, so I guess with this pandemic, I've probably to some degree became an expert because I've already done it so many years. Um, and in recent years, I've been doing the office thing. Um, so yeah, doing this victory lap with work from home I would say that, yeah, I've worked out a really good system. Okay, so um, beyond all the accolades of work from home, uh, I'm gonna kind of give you guys an idea on, on what I try to do in order to make the most of every day um, holistically and with the goal of being balanced because with me as the wealthy marketer, I'm a big believer in leading a balanced lifestyle, okay? Uh, so let's get started. So first thing, I'm going to start my day around midnight. So every day around midnight, plus minus, sometimes a little bit before midnight, some midnight on the dot, some a little bit after, I go to sleep. Okay? I start my day off by getting a good night's sleep. Okay? And a good night's sleep, in my books, is going to bed at a reasonable time and getting your seven to eight hours in. So if I go to bed at midnight, I'll aim to wake up between seven and eight a.m., every single day, okay? And then once I'm up, um, I go to the kitchen, I pour myself a nice tall glass of water, 
I get myself hydrated and I fire up the coffee. Once I got the, the, the coffee fired up, I let it drip and I go direct to my laptop. Now, you might think that I'm crazy for going direct to the laptop right off the bat, but for me, it's something that works, okay? I, get, I find um, starting off the laptop, uh, it's a good place for me to start my day, okay? It, it works for me. Everybody's different. Some people, it might make sense to go get exercise. We all have to figure out what our morning routine is um, and, and just literally figure out something that, that works for you because everybody's different. Okay, now once I get my laptop cracked open, um, I don't immediately go to work on my day job. So I am a digital marketer by trade. Um, my the bulk of my day revolves around digital marketing. But what I start my day off is checking in with what's going on in the stock market. Okay, that is my number one priority. Okay, um, I'll pull up Yahoo Finance. I'll pull up CNBC. Um, I'll pull up the uh, more detailed kind of like uh, stock market data that I have access to and I'm just studying the markets and seeing what's going on and getting up to date on um, what's taking place from a macro standpoint, from a micro standpoint, from the companies that I'm following, from the companies that I'm interested in um, and just seeing if there's any opportunities to ultimately make a trade. Uh, I am an active investor. Um, so any opportunity that I see to make a trade, that's what I'm looking for. And if I can, and if I can instinctively find something, and logically find something, then I will go ahead and make that trade or make a series of trades to start off my day. Um, once I've kind of like gone through that standard process that I personally have developed over the over the most recent years by educating myself, um, becoming more financially literate, understanding the way. Um, the stock market works, the way the global economy works, uh, the way uh, the government works. Um, I, once I've taken action on all that knowledge that I have, um, I will then move from being in kind of like active investor mode to day job mode, right? And again, my day job and, and my expertise by trade is being a digital marketer, okay? So come nine o'clock ish, I'm jumping right into digital marketing. Okay. Um, and I am the leader of a team, right? I have, um, at least four team members working with me by my side any given day. Um, and, and I have the, I'm a, I'm a veteran, right? I have the experience. I've been doing this thing for a solid decade plus. I've been a marketer for two decades. Right, so I know my way around things. Um, so what I try to do every single morning is delegate to my team, uh, let them know what they should be focused on, right? Check in with them, make sure that they're focused on those priorities and making sure that they have the guidance that they, that they need in order to follow through on those priorities. I will then also figure out what my priorities are. Um, typically I have this already planned out from the night before and I will execute and take action and, and complete the things that I need to complete uh, whether it's for one of my own in-house brands or one of the clients that I'm serving through my agency, grow a search, okay? So I'll grind it out hard uh, working in my business, um, leading my team and putting in like uh, a morning work session. Then typically um, after two to three hours of going hard with the work, um, we start to approach lunchtime, and then what I like to do around then is go for a think walk, okay? So I'm literally getting myself ready, getting myself out the door, getting some fresh air, and going for a walk, um, typically on my own, where I am like, uh, I'm walking fast and moving fast, and I'm walking two to three kilometers to a destination, um, whether it's for coffee or a lunch, and I'm just thinking about all different things that um, are on my mind. Sometimes it can be about business, sometimes it can be about family, sometimes it can be about the trip that I want to take, um, sometimes it can be about finances, sometimes it can be about health, sometimes it can be about challenges. Um, it's anything and everything. Um, but I, I'm a big believer in getting out there at some point mid-morning, um, taking in the fresh air, getting the body moving, and just thinking things through. Kind of like maybe like what Steve Jobs might have done. 
um, back in the day. Um, and then I, I'll, I'll get my coffee and or I will get my lunch. Um, and then I'll walk back, walk back home and um, yeah, just take it all in, enjoy the lunch, enjoy the coffee, and then uh, start to transition into the afternoon stretch of getting work done. So this will involve um, making sales calls, it will involve making follow-up kind of client servicing calls, it'll be, it will involve uh, collaborating with my team, perhaps having team meetings, or having one-on-ones with team members, identifying my next priorities, working, doing, putting in work on my own priorities, and then further delegating out to my team on what they should be working on next. And the, the key thing is taking it one task, one opportunity, one phone call at a time and really focusing in on that, right? That's what I do for myself. And I try to provide my team with that level of direction. I don't try to like really pour it on because there's only so much that we can do as individuals. And ultimately, just as the book, the one, the one thing says, you know, you gotta just take it one thing at a time. So I'm a big believer in this. Um, so uh, once we're past the lunch and I'm in the work mode, I'll, I'll grind it out hard all the way through to, to almost five o'clock. Perhaps I'll take a break here and there if I feel like, you know, I've exhausted wh what, I can, what I can say, what I can do. Uh, I'll take a break. Maybe I'll check in on CNBC, see what they're saying for the afternoon. Um, fire up some more coffee, get some more water. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty much going hard um, until about five o'clock when the wife and the kids come back. Um, and uh, yeah, then it's time to like transition into family time. So family comes home. Um, I'll try to wrap up as much as I can in and around five or six o'clock and then just focus on my family. Uh, get caught up, talk about our days, joke around, um, you know, talk about the, the happy things, talk about our challenges. Um, we'll enjoy a nice dinner together. Um, we'll perhaps play some games, throw a ball around, joke around. Um, just family stuff, like good quality family time, trying really hard to keep it positive and progressive and educational. Once the family has been like settled in and everybody's happy and everyone's kind of like chill and well fed. Um, and yeah, overall just like in, in good spirits. Uh, I'll then kind of like switch to more kind of like uh, personal time um, where I'll read a book or a series of books um, and I'll try to even get some more exercise in, right? I'll pump some iron, I'll do some calisthenics, I'll do some home workouts, just something to get the blood flowing and, and, and get the muscles kind of stronger. Um, I think squats is a, is a big thing too. Uh, so yeah, just a mix of kind of like really healthy things for the mind and for the body, right? Exercising the mind through reading and exercising the body through exercise, strenuous exercise to some degree. Um, then again, I'll, I'll chill with my family a bit. I'll help my son with homework if he needs help. If someone else in the family needs help with something, happy to help them. Uh, just uh, yeah, balance off that evening uh, with more quality time with the family. And then once everyone kind of like winds down and like starts getting ready for, for bed or like starts getting ready to like just, just chill, um, then I'll try to like squeeze the evening work session in, right? So we're talking about in and around like 9, 30, 10 o'clock onwards, I'll squeeze in um, some more productivity in my day. I'll work on my own brand. I'll work on my own, uh, I'll, I'll work more on the business than anything else, right? Um, and then, uh, once I put in some work on the business and I've maybe got some more stuff done and I planned out the day ahead, um, I'll, I'll, I'll now dedicate the rest of my day towards, uh, content creation, right? Doing videos like this, getting that vlog out there, getting, you know, Instagram videos out there, some level of content creation, whether it's in written or video form, I finish off my day with it. Okay. Um, and then once that's done, by the time I stop recording this video, I will literally be ready for bed. Um, so finish recording the video, um, write a little bit of uh, copy to go with the video, post it to YouTube, and then yeah, make my way back to 
the end of the cycle, right? Midnight has all of a sudden hit, and it's time to call it a day, get that good night's sleep, and do it all over again. So yeah, that pretty much gives you an idea of the day in the life as, a, as the wealthy marketer. Um, again, I want to reiterate, it's not so much of one thing over and over and over and over and over again, and that, that's it, right? I, I mix it up. You, you got to mix it up. In order to make your life fulfilling, you have to mix it up, right? And you need to make sure that like healthy things are in place, right? You want to have a uh, good sleep. You want to wake up, get hydrated. Um, you want to work on your financial education, uh, get caffeinated if you need to, have a good breakfast, right? Eat something healthy for breakfast. Um, put in your work, uh, get out there, get the blood flowing, get some fresh air, um, have a good meal, have another coffee, put in more work, uh, spend time with your family, um, make sure everyone is in good spirits and well taken care of, uh, work on the mind, work on the body, um, get more work done, make some content for your social media, and then go to sleep. That is what makes um, the perfect day as a wealthy marketer. That is a working day. That is a working day. That's like five or six days of the week. And then obviously um, on weekends, uh, what you want to do is um, settle down on the work and get, get out there and enjoy life. You know, enjoy, enjoy your city. Um, enjoy the nature that's available to you. Go for walks, go for hikes. Um, take in the market if it's open. Um, enjoy a restaurant. Um, enjoy quality time with your family, right? You gotta balance all this stuff out. It, balance is to some degree possible. Obviously things get unbalanced. Again, I was up till 4 a.m. several times between uh, the last video and, and this one, right? Um, but you you can strive for balance and, and you should ultimately strive for balance. But at the same time, you gotta work hard, gotta make the most of each and every day. Uh, this is what it uh, it's all about, being the wealthy marketer. Cheers to that. Happy Thursday slash Friday uh, to all of you. Um, I'm so happy to be uh, back on the vlogs after a bit of a hiatus. And I promise you guys, I will bring you more amazing content in the weeks and months ahead. Cheers. Have a good one. Peace.